Hello everybody, I'm Mixy Call, and in this video I've found a fantastic mod pack that we can install together. It's called Homestead, and it's absolutely breathtaking. Just look at this place, it's filled with so much stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'm just going to chop this tree down to show you one of the 350 mods that are available in this pack. So let's get to installing it. First, we need to head to Curse Forge and search for Homestead. Easy so far. Once you've searched for that, you can basically install this as a mod pack. It installs it for version 1.20.1, which is relevant enough, I guess. And it takes an absolutely monstrous amount of time to install. So while I'm installing it, I'm also going to hang around and play, because I've already got it installed. I'm going to chop this tree down in record-breaking speed, because I sped it up a little bit. The axe broke, but the whole tree comes down, and all of the loot is sitting on the tree. It's beautiful. This place is absolutely fantastic. It doesn't even feel like Minecraft anymore. It feels like some other game in a different world. Look, turkeys! Turkeys, I've got to kill them. I've got to kill them. I need the meat. Hey, it's installed. So now all we need to do is click play. Then go to your launcher, click play again. Wait for an absolutely excessive amount of time while I kill this turkey. Yeah, give me that meat. Then you can go into the game. It does take a long time to install and play. Turn off V-Sync and have unlimited frames. That's the way I like to play it. If you want to, you can change your other settings, like your mouse settings and your custom keybinds, and then you can get ready to go into the game. Basically, I want to put cheats on. They're not cheats, they're commands. Load up the game. Again, it takes a long time. Start my quest, and I'm in the ocean world. Okay, there, yeah, that's great. I'm here, but there's not much going on. So basically, I've set it to creative mode and found an area where stuff is going on. Look at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm very, very impressed with this mod pack. It's insane. 350 mods is another level of modding, though, isn't it? It's very laggy, I'll give you that. This cow, point in case, case in point, it took a while to kill, didn't it? Hmm. So yeah, this mod is absolutely beautiful, but it is on the laggy side, just a little. Look at this place I found. This absolutely amazing cherry grove. And in the distance, I think thanks to Young's mod, there's one of these little pillager outposts, and it's a mini one, so it's not too dangerous, is it? I'll kill those. Easy. I got myself an iron sword, which, uh, yeah, I may have installed with the uh, creative mode there. But yeah, these pillagers, they're a bit hard, aren't they? These, they're killing me. They're killing me. Yeah, get down. Not too hard. Get him. Yeah, bye-bye, Mr. Man. There's one in there, like this lookout post. Now, what I want to do as well is install the Yushua mod. So I'm going to download the Yushua Townscape mod, and I'm going to make sure this one is downloaded for 1.20.1 .1 and for Fabric. Okay, cool. That's good. And I'm also going to download, after this one's finished, the modeling tools. So yeah, just leave that in your downloads folder for now. Go to the next one, which is Yushua Modeling. Download this one, again, for 1.20.1. .1. Don't bother with the resource packs. There's many a resource pack in the Homestead resource packs folder, so don't bother with that. And we also need Essential, which is a very good mod for playing for free on your own Minecraft server with your friends. Again, download this one. Make sure it's for 1.20.1, the same as before, and for Fabric. Download that. Leave that in your downloads folder, and we'll come back in a minute to install it while I go and investigate this wonderful place. Again, I'm blown away by this mod pack. It's so beautiful. Now what we need to do is basically check the installation on Curse Forge. Hit the meatballs menu, open the folders, and you will get a selection of folders. Ants! Ants! Oh no! Here we go, the mods folder and the downloads folder. Go to your mods folder with all 350 in in your downloads folder. Just copy those and paste them in. Now it's got 353 mods, which is insane. All we need to do now is load up the mod launcher and press play. Once you press play, again, it might take a while. Ignore this. That's for the foliage and the resource for usual mod. I don't care. Now I've got Essential, so I can play that as well. I'm a host of world. Yeah, do not warn me again. I've got the cheats enabled, which should just say commands, really, shouldn't it? Because they are commands. It's not cheats. Host the world. Again, it does take an exceptional amount of time to get this going. Yes, I'll host the world, and this is sped up a little bit, so you don't have to wait for that. I'm in the overworld with the usual guidebook. Pretty cool. 
And I skipped ahead a little bit to find a beautiful place. Peaceful, not going to kill me, those ants. And I'm going to show you that the usual mod is installed with Essential here. I've got the Green Gourd, my friend, and the GUI tool here. They're both my favourite tools in the world from the usual mod. And I'm just going to search for a fridge. So I'm going to get this refrigerator. No, I want the one with the open door. Place it in. Turn it into an entity. You get a black box, which is a bit of a swizz. Change it to middle and then put it up just as normal. You can change the form if you want to, to one, an open fridge in the field. That's actually perfect, isn't it? And you can see it's hosted because I'm Ixical. And it's got my name there with that little blue essential dot. Cool. I'm going to investigate this world a little bit more because, again, it's super exciting. I'm going to throw away this trash. It's actually not trash, is it? The gourd and the GUI tool. What am I saying? I regret my life choices saying that. What a fantastically beautiful place. The massive trees are another level of absolute beauty, aren't they? It's just crazy. I went down this river system a bit. I found some pelicans here. Didn't even know there was pelicans in Minecraft. There definitely is with the Homestead mod pack. It's absolutely beautiful. So I decided to carry on playing a bit and I want to show you what the Homestead has to offer. There's some boars here. This forest again is so beautiful. I'm happy the World of Warcraft sounds there. That's definitely a World of Warcraft pig, isn't it? What? Look, as I explore this place, these birches, they're just desperate to be chopped. I found this woodland manor. I've no idea what this is, whether this is a safe place or something dangerous. The sounds of the birds, it's absolutely beautiful. Where's the way in? I need to go in and get the loot. Now, this doesn't look friendly. This looks like it may be hostile. I'm going to go and investigate this place. There's lots of books. Oh, I heard an illager of some description. I don't know what that is. Ah, there's a dude. Oh, he disappeared. That's a bit Dark Souls, isn't it? Nothing in there. Let's go and have a look. Where is he? Where did he go? Well, is he around this corner? Where am I going? This is like, ooh, a chest. Plenty of stuff. Oof, I love it. I love to loot. Those chests, by the way, those chests are unique to me. So if you're playing with other people, the chest will be different. Oh no. There's many of them now. This is actually getting dangerous. They've got bows and arrows. Why are they doing this to me? Please, please, I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Leave me alone. Oh, 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 oh. I got into a big fight here. A lot of trouble went down in the house that I thought was a safe haven. World of Illusions. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. I investigated that place, which is beautiful, but rather dangerous. And then I investigated this place as well. No idea what it is. It looks so beautiful. It's not Minecraft anymore, is it, with the Homestead mod pack? It's something else. Another world of beauty in the Enchanted Tangle. Absolutely is. What is this tree? This is beautiful. Look at this green one. Everything about this mod pack is incredible. It's like playing... I don't know, it's like playing Skyrim in Minecraft, I guess? Or something a bit more enchanted? Feels like World of Warcraft as well. Look at that mushroom! This place is crazy. There's a jungle over there and it's getting rather dark. Hmm, there's something here in the jungle. You can actually see the monsters in the minimap as well, because that's the Zero's minimap, isn't it? Look at this creeper, don't do it! No! Oh, lucky, lucky for me. I backed away. Whoa, a skeleton. I'm going, I'm going. Nah, I could engage him. Let's bring him out. Come to me! Come to me, O monster of darkness. No, you got me. You got me in the knee, or whatever they say in Skyrim. Yep, it's got the particles thing going on. Oof, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning mod pack. And I really hope that this guide has helped you in your quest to play Minecraft in a more beautiful way. I found this little thing as well. Again, I think this is down to Jung's mod pack, I guess, or mods. Whoa, I nearly died. And it basically takes me to the tunnels of darkness. Look at this place. Loot! I've already looted. This is like previously when I was learning. Oof, tunnel treasures. Look at that. I want it. I need it. Give me that coin pouch. Maybe I can spend that. Oof, I need coins. Nice. I don't know what they do. Maybe I can spend them. That would be nice. Yeah, but I investigated this little tunnel system. I didn't really find anything. Other than interest. I found interest in here. Didn't find any monsters, which is good. So what's over here? I illuminate the place. What's that? Something in it. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Oh, oh it's a minecart with TNT. Oh, I don't want to be fighting. No! No, don't sense me! Yeah, good. I've got the sneak. i got the sneak achievement. Let's go in here. Don't summon one of those dudes, because I'm going away if you do. 
Ooh, an oven. Hey, whoa, wait, what? There's coal in that oven. Gimme. Give Gimme give that loot. No, I'll be destroying that. Don't destroy. Please, don't. Just don't summon those dudes. I'm scared of them. Anyway, I investigated this little tunnel, and it led to nothing but supplies. I mean, you could get a lot of stuff in here. And then I investigated this jungle town. And when I say a town, it's like a city. It starts off on the ground, kind of normal. That's an interesting bed, thanks to one of the 350 mods in this pack. Yeah, villagers everywhere. This dude, oh, another beautiful place. A little baby man standing there, that's fine. A baby man. So let's have a look. What did I see? I saw many a thing. There's a golem. I'm hungered. I'm hungry for apples. Eat. Eat. Cool, let's have a look. Ah, oh, the sounds. The audio. What's in here? Nice. A room with a dude. He's got stuff for sale. I appreciate that. I'll be taking your stuff. Sorry. See you tomorrow. Cool, so let's go and have a look at else. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, the iron column. No, I'm in the, I'm in the water. I don't want that. Go around here. What I did find, soon, it got weird because there's loads of villagers. Look, loads. Where are they? I can't see them. You know where they are? They're in a treehouse village above me. And this is just, it blew my mind. It's beautiful and crazy. And how do I get up there? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can use this. Let's go in, open the trap doors, yeah, go into the watery bit, use their little bubble vator without the bubbles, climb up and have a look around here. This crazy place is absolutely insane. Hello, Mr. Man, unemployed. Sorry about that. Yeah, you might need to go to the job center. Oh, probably not. It's not the best idea, is it? The worst place in the world. But yeah, going over here, look. Many a thing, many a treetop village in the Homestead mod pack. What a fantastic day this has been. A day of discovery. It's blown my mind, because this is no longer Minecraft, is it? This is something else. Woof, it's amazing. Again, if this video has helped you in any way, subscribe to my channel. I'm Ixicall. Send me a comment as well if you're having any trouble with it. I suggest you don't download it on Modrinth. It didn't work for me. It is very laggy, so please bear with it. Also, you can send me a super thanks if you want to. And maybe support me on coffee. This has been a fantastic mod pack review. I really like this. I might play this again. Definitely, in fact. I'm Ixicall, and I'll see you next time.